Good morning, Moses Lake Christian Church. This is Pastor Phil Payne, and it's our Tuesday morning check-in. And I just want to send you this short message to tell you that I'm cheering for you, I'm praying for you, and hope that your week is uh, off to a, a great start. At Moses Lake Christian Church, we are uh, in the middle of a series on our marriage and investing in our marriage. And this last week, we talked about investing through connection. Right, God has intended us to be a married couple that are living transformational lives, but if we're, we're honest, it's easy to slip into transactions. You know, I get up and I go to work and we change diapers and we vacuum the house and we pay bills and we carpool and we go to soccer practice and, and I do my thing and my wife does her thing and pretty soon we're living a life of transactional relationship instead of the transformational relationship that God intended. For sure, transactions have to get done, right? There's nothing wrong with transactions. Um, those are the things that we do every day that need to get done. But the reality is that our marriages were meant to be so much more than just transactions. God desires transformation. Uh, he, he shared that with us. We read together in Genesis chapter two, um, God's original idea that uh, this is why a man would leave his father and mother and cling, cleave to his wife and they would become one flesh. We talked about those words, leaving and cleaving. The idea of leaving is to leave behind those things that, that marked my life before marriage, right? They're, they're not bad things, um, but sometimes I, I realize that I just wanna keep living my single life as a married single, when really I need to leave my selfishness and leave my independence behind, and then turn and cleave to my wife, be united to my wife. That idea we talked about is to be glued together and that gluing is a process, right? Transformational relationships are, are relationships that practice the habit of investing through connection. And we gave you a little cheat sheet last week. Um, you can see this and grab it. And, and I wonder how you doing with this? How you doing practicing the little habits in your marriage that will help with transformation? Hey, don't, don't get caught up on the, the legalism of this. I know we talked about six hours to a better relationship, but these are habits more than they are that we nail down the minutes. Simple little things, right? Entrances and exits. Don't leave your house. Don't get take off for the day until you check in with your spouse and say, this is what I have today. I love you and I hope you have a great day. And then when you come home, take a moment and connect with each other. Give each other a kiss. Take a few moments to say, how was your day? How did it go? Practice seeing each other, right? making sure you're communicating that I see you and I hear you as you leave and as you come back. And then appreciation and admiration. Find something every day that just one little thing you can say, I appreciate this about you. Cultivate the habit of gratitude with your spouse. Affection. Take some time to hold hands, to cuddle, um, to, to have a six second kiss, right? Not just counting off the seconds, but to actually stop and to embrace. Have a date night this week. Find some time to go out on a date. It might be a restaurant, it might be your own house, but it's that uninterrupted time where you can turn towards each other and you can share your heart. Spend some time together. And then a state of the union meeting. How are we doing? How's our marriage, right? Are we more transactional than we are transformational? What do we want our marriage to be? What's working and what's not working? Connecting with each other. Hey, Moses Day Christian Church, I'm cheering for you today. I'm praying for you today. I know God wants us to have incredible marriages that make his name great. God wants to use our marriage to transform us and to share with our spouse the amazing love. Your marriage is a gift from God. This week, let's do everything we can to invest in that gift. Have a great day.